The weather wasn't that good when I woke up today. It was raining a little bit, but I don't really mind the rain. I don't have any plans today aside from going to my brother's house later tonight. But after breakfast, I believe my mom and my sister-in-law are gonna go out and buy some groceries and I'm definitely gonna go with them. So for breakfast, breakfast. I'm gonna have the same thing as I had yesterday and the day before that which is suman and ham sandwich but this time I'm gonna have the ham seared and the bread toasted and for the suman I'm gonna have a different sauce on it yesterday it was coconuts and brown sugar but today I'm gonna have this homemade syrup and a bowl of honeydew on the side you just wipe it I like my relish. Look at this. 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 Yes. So you could imagine, but at this time, look at that. So good. Normally, you eat this with shredded coconuts and some brown sugar. Considering this will be my first time to try a syrup on it, I think the coconut would also be good with this. Isipin, kasabi na hindi siya magut sa ano siya? After breakfast, I got ready so I can go with my mom and my sister-in-law to the grocery store and buy some food that they're gonna cook, which I'm gonna film in a few days. Ding alam mo magalianis? Hindi. Hindi po. Parang Walmart. Parang nagpark na. Actually, anak, the Walmart was in the process of. First stop, French Bike. She wants the bread. So much bread. Ooh, that, looks good. that looks good. That looks good. Okay. I thought the French baker only sold bread and some pastries, but I didn't know that they actually serve meals now, which my sister-in-law showed me with their menu. And the chicken. After buying some bread and some pastries, we headed down to the grocery store. It's nice. 
nice. We have like fresh, fresh chicken. Look at all those. They even have a big bone right there. Chicken liver. Chicken liver. So good. Dry fish. Yeah, pork skin. Okay. Yeah. I want to get one of those, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just realized that that's a weird cart. It's just for the It's like paper bags. <laughs> Real paper bags. <laughs> for grocery. Only in the Philippines. After getting what we need, we headed back to my parents' house to have lunch. And of course, we hit some traffic along the way, so we had to take a few detours just to get back. The first thing on the table is a cucumber salad with bell peppers in it. The dressing is made by my mom. She actually showed me how to make it. I know it's simple, but I wasn't listening. I'll have to call her and ask her how she made it. This beef caldereta. Wow. With olives, potato, carrots, potato, raw potato, cheese, peas, all the good stuff a beef need. If I'm not mistaken, this beef caldereta was given to us by my aunt or maybe a family friend. I'm not sure, but definitely my mom or and I didn't make this. Do it. Baong ka sa ano? Saint Luke's. Wow, ano ito? Ganda ng bowl mo ma. Nice bowl. Oh. Fish and sauce. Let's do this. Look at that. Boom. Dahil? Right there. What is that? The beef is tender and the flavor of the sauce is so good. Basically, caldereta is a stew. So in this case, it's like beef stew. Some caldereta that I've had before are kind of oily, but this one isn't. And some of them are also salty, but they all have this the same distinct flavor to it. When I was describing the food earlier, my mom said there's cheese in this. I don't think that's right because I didn't see or taste the cheese at all. 
What makes this salad really good is definitely the dressing that my mom made. To describe it, it's sweet and sour at the same time because I think that she put vinegar in it. She might have added some other ingredients in there, but it's definitely refreshing. Refreshing, no? Beef stew. In potato. Beef? What is this made of? Pork. Ground pork. Pork with fish. Fish, Pork. pork. With raisins. With raisins, yes. As my mom just mentioned, the beef caldereta and the embotido was given to us by my aunt, who is my mom's cousin. She's a nice lady and she's a great cook. So this is the pork embotido. It kind of does look like meatloaf, but it tastes way different than meatloaf. This is also one of my favorite Filipino food. So good. The only way I can describe the taste of embotido is that it's sweet by itself, even without sauce. I don't even think they have sauce for this, but I think what makes it sweet is that it has raisins in it. One thing you can tell if it's a good embotido is that it's moist and juicy. And finally, we come to this. I was able to convince my sister-in-law to get this for us from the French baker. Blueberries. Cherry and peach. Cherry and peach. Get one. I don't know where this came from, and I just brought this out. It's banana cooked in some kind of syrup. Clear up the shadow. Because it's a holiday time. Sweet banana. Sweet banana. Sweet banana. On the side. Cream. Peach. Croissant. Good. <coughs> Yeah. Okay. 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 After lunch, we stayed for a few hours to hang out before we left to go to my brother's house. <laughs> and as usual, we hit the longest traffic I've ever had so far during this trip. Alright. <laughs> stop. Once we got out of traffic, we stopped at this plaza, which is kind of like a truck stop in the US. But this is like a little mall that kind of stretches out. I guess they built this here so people can pass time if there's traffic. Because in the Philippines, there's always traffic. I used to eat that a lot.
peanut AC that too. Yeah, I'm a gambler. Mm -hmm. I'm a gambler. Yeah. Alright. Look at all these people in Starbucks. Philippines. After we stretched our legs a bit, we hit the road again and at this time the traffic is pretty much subsided so making it to my brother's house should be quick. But before we went home, we made a quick stop at this barbecue place where I used to go to with my friends back then. This place used to be in a corner of the street and they sell the barbecues in this little wooden booth that they made. And what's amazing is that their barbecue is so good that they became so famous that a lot of people would come here just to buy barbecue from them. And now they expanded into this big open restaurant kind of thing. It's just amazing to see how this business started from a little booth and now into this. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Alan. What I really wanted to get here was this thing called Isao. Iso are chicken intestines. They also have pork intestines, but the most famous ones are the chicken. But unfortunately, it was all sold out. So we were left with a chicken or pork barbecue and pig ears, which is what I like. After they finished cooking the barbecue, we went straight home and have dinner. Pork rinds. Great. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Different kinds of sauce. Let's go with the tanga. And one barbecue. You got that's meron kada? Meron kada? Ito ba yung sauce niya? Yeah, dalawang classy sauce. Mukhang spicy yun, ano? Parang ito yung sauce. Ayan yung for the barbecue. Parang ito yung married. Okay lang. Ayan yung suka. Big pabot naman yung chicharon mo doon, ano? Normally I would just put the vinegar sauce on this, but since I haven't tried this other sauce, might as well try it. Look at that. Mm. Papa Alam 
Mmm, sarap pa rin siya. Mukhang okay naman yung balat eh. Balat ba yan o tenga? Tenga. Tenga. Ano yung favorite ko, tenga? Mm. Kaya yung tip yan. Kukunat yan. The barbecue still tastes the same. I wish I had Isao, but the pig's ears is enough. It was really tasty and crunchy, which I really like. So tomorrow the plan is, my brother and I were gonna go to the mall and do a little bit of shopping while my sister-in-law works. Then after we finish shopping, we're gonna pick up my sister-in-law and have dinner in the city. <laughs> Awkward talaga kasi hindi alam kung gaay siya.